Good day everyone, this is Ryan Lawaji from the Butcher Shop Effects Studio and today I'm going to teach you how to cast a urethane prop knife. So first things first, we're going to spray release the inside of the silicone mold with some Ease Release 200. I, I do a spray and I brush it on first and then I do a second just light misting over the surface. So my plan here is to pre-tint the urethane I'm going to use to minimize having to paint things. Uh, at first I tried some Cast Magic Silver Bullet by Smooth On. Here are my two test pieces. First piece there wasn't quite enough added. Second piece turned out pretty good. I then take some very fine steel wool and gently buff over the surface and it gives it a really nice metallic sheen. I also did a couple of tests using the Aluminum Powder Metal Powder by Smooth On. I really like the results of this one, so this is what I stuck with. You can see the two pieces here already buffed out. I'm now going to take some sonnet wax and apply a thin layer around the support shell. In case there's any little bits of leakage from the casting, uh, I don't want the Smoothcast 300 to bond to the Plasti Paste 2, which is the support shell. I then hit things with another light misting of the Easy Release 200. So now I'm going to get my aluminum powder and I'm going to dust over the surface of the blade and handle of the knife on the inside of the silicone mold there. Ideally, I should be working with a dust mask here. Just be very careful to not breathe in the aluminum powder. And as you can see, we have the aluminum powder inside the mold. I will now close both halves of the mold, make sure the keys lock into place nicely. And then I'm going to take some nuts and bolts and use a drill gun and wrench and make sure everything locks in place nice and tight. Now that the mold's ready for casting, I'm going to take some Smooth On Smooth Cast 300 bright white liquid plastic, give it a good shake. Uh, I'm going to weigh it out one to one to one aluminum powder. When working with chemicals, always use proper safety. I'm wearing gloves and a respirator. My shop is very ventilated. And always read the MSDS sheets, the material safety data sheets that come with the products. So now I'm just going to mix all three components thoroughly together and give them a really good mix. And then I'm going to pour them slowly into the mold here. You see I have the mold tilted on an angle. Uh, so when I pour the product down, uh, it's going to push air back up out of the vent hole. I'm going to then dump the product back out, pour it back in, spin the mold around a little bit hit it a little bit to burp it just trying to burp out any air bubbles that might get trapped down the mold give it a little flex and then I'm just gonna let it rest and give it time to cure Smoothcast 300 has a cure time of 10 minutes I personally give it about 20 minutes I also check my containers I mix it in to make sure it's thoroughly set before I open the mold here so I'm gonna unscrew all the nuts and bolts I might take a flathead screwdriver and very gently pry the mold open and then very, very carefully pop out the prop knife. And here it is, we have a little bit of overflow. Anytime you have liquid urethane, you're gonna have a little bit of overflow, but that's just very easily cut away with an X-Acto blade. Just be very cautious when using the blade. You can very easily cut yourself and it will cause stitches. So as you can see, I, I try my best to always direct the blade away from myself when cutting and keeping my fingers very clear of it. Just be cautious. And if you do have to cut towards yourself, just be very focused and controlled with the blade. Also wear safety goggles because you don't want a piece of that metal blade breaking off and flying directly into your eyeball. No fun. Now once the overflow is all trimmed away, we're going to take some very fine steel wool and gently, and I'll say it again, gently buff over the surface. And it'll give it a nice metallic sheen and you're ready for paint. I'm going to just paint the handle to make it look like a wooden handle using acrylic paint and some kind of sealer spray on top. And then we're ready to go. We have a nice prop friendly butcher knife that actors can run around on set and not worry about injuring another actor with. 
And here are the finished pieces, ready to go. One's gonna be stabbing an actress back, the other one through the mouth, and we got the full on butcher knife right there. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. The Butcher Shop Effects Studio!